थैंक यू थैंक यू In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Glory to God in the highest. O God, since the beginning of the world, have blessed the increase of your children. Show favor to our supplications and pour forth the help of your blessing on these your servants, John Carlo and Jesel May, so that in union of marriage, they may be bound with mutual affection in likeness of mind and in shared holiness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Let us all be seated as we listen to the Word of God. A reading from the book of Sirach. 
Blessed are the husband of a good wife. Twice lengthen our his days. A worthy wife bring joy to her husband. Peaceful and full is his life. A good wife is a generous gift bestowed upon him who fears the Lord. Be he rich or poor, his heart is content and a smile is ever in her face. A gracious wife delights her husband. Her thoughtfulness puts flesh on his bones. A gift from the Lord is her covered speech, and her firm virtue is of surpassing worth. A choicest of blessing is a modest wife, priceless her chaste soul. A holy and decent woman adds grace upon grace. Indeed, no price is worthy of her temperate soul. Like the sun rising in the Lord's heaven, the beauty of virtuous wife is the regions of her home. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. As we are one in Christ, let our response be, May the Lord bless us all the days of our lives. May the Lord bless us all the days of our lives. Blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in His ways. By labor of your hands, you shall eat. You will be happy and prosper. May the Lord bless us all the days of our lives. Your wife will be like fruitful vine in the heart of your house. Your children like shoots of olive around your table. May the Lord bless us all the days of our lives. Indeed, thus shall be blessed the man who fears the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion in a happy Jerusalem all the days of your life. May you see children's children. May the Lord bless us all the days of our lives. Let us all rise to honor the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love. Just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in His love. I have told you this so that my joy might be in you and your joy might be complete. This is my commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. My dear brothers and sisters, the good news of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated for the homily. My dear brothers and sisters, maayong hapon sa tanan. Maayong hapon, Father. Especially to the Kabatuan and Rosas family, welcome to the wedding ceremony, the wedding rite of John Carlo and Giselle May. As you notice, my dear brothers and sisters, that we don't have any penitential right with our celebration this afternoon. We have the entrance song, the sign of the cross, the simple greetings, 
then we proceed to Gloria or the singing of uh, Glory to God in the highest. The reason behind Carlo and Jai with this celebration that after you exchange your idols, that's the time they start already your penitent. Meaning to say, starting today, you always ask the Lord, Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, and Lord have mercy. And that is why you surrender your love to God because you always ask the blessing from the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, we are here this afternoon for three reasons. First, about the sacredness of marriage or the sacrament of marriage. The second one, to witness the exchange of promises between Carlo and Giselle. And third, that they establish partnership for the whole life. Partnership of the whole life. Meaning to say, there is no superiority or inferiority when it comes to married life. So my dear brothers and sisters, when we talk about the sacrament of marriage, it is the power that comes forth from the body of Christ, which is the church. And the church is ever-living and life-giving. And that is the characteristics of the church. It is always live in faith, ever-living, as well as life-giving. So when you talk about ever-living, there is what we call the firm foundation, which is the church. And these are all the actions of the Holy Spirit in the church. And that action at work in His body, the church. So therefore, you become the reflection of God's love to His people. So the sacrament of marriage is ever-living. Buhi kanunay ang simbahan as the real image of Christ and the church, the living witness of the church. And at the same time, the church is a life-giving. So meaning to say there is mutual understanding between the husband and the wife. From this day forward, Carlo and Giselle me, you become the agent of life. You become the promoter of life. Kamo ang tigbaligya ay hinti sa kinabuhi nga to sa man as you witness the living faith in the church. Then the second one is to establish about the uh, the sacrament or the matrimonial covenant, the agreement in yung panumpaan diha sa simbahan. So, few minutes from now, you declare your intentions that for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, until death do us part. So, kamatayon lang yung kuno magbulag, Carlo, o Giselle me. No? So, the keyword here is about till death do us part. So, sa yun ralito kon, pero lison ba po na siya paning nga puyan. And that is why in our gospel reading, though it is a short gospel, but take note, Carlo and Giselle me, the word remain, gibalik-balik for three times. So, just like with your parents, kung ibalik-balik na galing na, meaning to sing, there is a meaning, doon ay pasabot niya na, no? Ibalik-balik na galing na, hey, kasama ba ibalik-balik mang yun? So, meaning to sing, doon ay meaning siya. Carlo and Giselle me, to fall in love is easy. Dali ramang yun may gugma, di ba? But to, feel, to fall in love is easy, but to be in love is hard. Kana may gugma na ka, murag lisod na ba, no? murag mingaw na ka, Marag something ang marag doon ay kalainan. No? But to remain in love is more difficult and challenging to tell you frankly. Especially nowadays, nga grabe na aking competition na sa gawas. That's the very challenging word, how to remain in love hangtod sa kamatayon ka ng ingo na to, till death do us part. So to fall in love is easy, to be in love is hard, but to remain in love is more difficult and challenging. With that promises, Carlo and Giselle me, you promise that not only for yourself, but you promise that to your parents, 
paog ma kaya na namo nga mubarog isip uh, magtiayon no and you promise that also to your ninong and your ninang you promise that to your friends and relatives but most of all you promise that to God who is always faithful to his promise sometimes kita unfaithful ta sa ato mga promises pero ang Ginoo gayud faithful gayud gana sa iyang promise hangtod sa hangtod The last one to establish about partnership of the whole life. The whole version nowadays, dili naman nga akong bana, akong asawa, kung dili akong partner in Tagalog that is katuwang sa kinabuhi. So meaning kung may tagkatuwang, balansi, no? There is equality between husband and wife. Walay taas o walay o bos. Equal. You promise that to your family nga managsama ang bana ug ang asawa. So kun dili nagali sila balanse, dili na katuwang, kun di natuwang na, no? Kay imbalance na sila between the husband and the wife. As we all know, Carlo and Jesselmi, we don't have any perfect marriage. Wala gi perpekto nga kami nion, di ba no? Wala may perpekto nga kami nion, no? We don't have any perfect marriage. In every relationship, you experience difficulties and suffering. In most cases, every relationship, you experience ups and downs. You experience uh, strength and weaknesses. You experience high and low. And all of these realities, Carlo and Giselme, you cannot easily eliminate, but you face those realities in life. You face those challenges. But remember, Carlo and Jesilmi, you are not alone. There is God who is always with you till the end of time. But according to St. Uh, Paul, do not have any perfect marriage, but you can maintain the healthy relationship. How? If there is kindness, there is understanding, uh, there is forgiveness, And above all, there is love. So, mamintin kaya po na ito ang atong, ang atong healthy relationship kung naanis siya ng core values in the family. Before, the mathematical symbol of marriage is 1 plus 1 is equals to 1. But now, 1 plus 1 is equals to 3. The husband, the wife, dili kalimtan nga naagid kanunay ang ginoo. So, ipataliwala ka nun ay ang ginoo diya sa inyong managtiayon nga kinabuhi. May God be praised. Please remain seated for the marriage rites. May we now request the candle spot. God, may pour His abundant blessings on your love and help you to carry out the duties of marriage state. And you, my dear brothers and sisters, may I ask you to help them with your prayers and accept them as new couple in our Christian community. John Carlo and Giselle May, may I now ask you to answer truthfully these following questions. Giselle May, did you come here today in your own free will to bind yourself forever in love and service of your husband? Yes, Father. The John Carlo, did you come here today in your own free will to bind yourself forever in love and service of your wife? Yes, Father. John Carlo and Giselle May, are you ready to raise as good Christians the children whom God will give you? Yes, Father. John Carlo and Giselle May, since you wish to contract the sacrament of marriage. Please join your right hands and express your intentions before God and His Church. Giselle May, do you take Jan Carlo here present to be your lawful husband according to the right of our Holy Mother, the Church? Yes, Father, I do. Do you give yourself to him as his wife? Yes, Father, I do. Do you accept him as your husband? Yes, Father, I do. John Carlo, do you take Giselle May here present 
to be your lawful wife according to the right of our Holy Mother, the Church? Yes, Father, I do. Do you give yourself to her as her husband? Yes, Father, I do. Do you accept her as your wife? Yes, Father, I do. And now, John Carlo and Jessel May, please say it together. Grant us, O Lord, to be one heart and one soul, from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, until the death do us part. John Carlo and Jessel May, you have declared your consent before the church. And may the Lord strengthen your vows and fill you both with his blessing. And I, by the authority of the church, calling on all those present here as witnesses, confirm and bless the band of marriage which you have contracted. In the name of the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord, bless the rings which we place in your name. Grant that John, Carlo, and Jessel me, who will wear them, may always have their faith in each other. May they do your will and always live together in peace, goodwill, mutual love, and unbroken loyalty. Bless, O Lord, your children, John, Carlo, and Jessel me, with sufficiency of material possessions for their needs and those of their children, and for sharing with those in need, may they use their possession to serve you well, and thus attain eternal life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Jaisal May, wear this ring as a sign of my love and loyalty. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. John Carlo, wear this ring as a sign of my love and loyalty. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Jaisal May, I give you this array as a pledge, pledge of my total dedication and constant concern for your welfare and for those of our children. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And I thank you, John Carlo, and accept them wholeheartedly with love and appreciation and promise to be a good steward of, of the manifold blessing God will bestow on us and our family in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> My dear brothers and sisters, let us now welcome John Carlo and Jessel May into their new life as husband and wife. Let us give them a joyful applause. The principal sponsors may now return to their respective seats.
Please all stand for the prayers of the faithful. Dearly beloved, let us pray for the church and for our newly wedded couple whose marriages reflect their union with Christ. In every petition, let our response be, Lord, keep us in your love. Lord, keep us in your love. For all our parents who selflessly brought us to this world with unconditional love, support, and guidance, that they may continue to be instruments of God's loving care to the members of their families, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, keep us in your love. For all the sponsors and witnesses who blessed this union with prayers, that they may be showered with good health, peace of mind, and harmony in their families, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, keep us in your love. For all those who are here, that we may all continue to share in the joys and sorrows of John Carlo and Giselle May, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, keep us in your love. For John Carlo and Giselle May, now beginning their life together, that may have divine assistance at every moment and the constant support of family and friends. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, keep us in your love. That their hearts may be united forever. Protect them from the gales of temptation. Lighten their burdens and fortify them in their trials. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, keep us in your love. For the sick and those who suffer, they may discover the healing presence of Christ in their lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, keep us in your love. Let us now pray for our personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, keep us in your love. Almighty and eternal God, look down with favor upon your children, John Carlo and Giselle May. Grant them remain faithful to you and to one another. At the end of long, well-spent life, reward them with eternal happiness together with all those who love them. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Holy Father, maker of the whole world, who created man and woman in your own image, and will that their union be crowned with your blessing, we humbly beseech you for this your servant's who are joined today in the sacrament of matrimony. May your abundant blessing, Lord, come down upon this bride, Jaisal May, and upon John Carlo, her companion for life. And may the power of your Holy Spirit set their hearts aflame from on high, so that living out together the gift of matrimony, they may adorn their family with children and enrich the church. In happiness, may they praise you, O Lord. In sorrow, may they seek you out. May they have the joy of your presence to assist them in their towel. And know that you are near to comfort them in their need. Let them pray to you in the holy assembly and bear witness to you in the world. And after a happy old age together with a circle of friends that surrounds them, May they come to the kingdom of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. Cord and veil sponsors may now come forward to remove the symbols from the couple. Please be seated for the liturgy of the Holy Eucharist. May now we pray, brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Lord, accept our offerings 
for this newly married couple, John Carlo and Giselle May, by your love and providence. You have brought them together. Now bless them all the days of their married life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you will that the human race, created by the gift of your goodness, should be raised to such high dignity, that in the union of husband and wife, you might bestow a true image of your love. For those you created out of charity, you call to the law of charity without ceasing, and grant them a share in your eternal charity. And so the sacrament of holy matrimony, as the abiding sign of your own love, consecrates the love of man and woman through Christ our Lord. Through him, with the angels and all the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. All please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the joyful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion. He took the bread and gave you thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave you thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith.
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis our Pope, Antonio our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have blessed you throughout the ages. We may merely to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look down on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace. Mayong hapon sa tanan. That the peace of Christ may dwell in you and abide always in your home. Amen. May you be blessed in your children. Have solace in your friends and enjoy 
through peace with everyone. Amen. May you be witnesses in the world to God's charity, so that the afflicted and needy who have known your kindness may one day receive you thankfully into the eternal dwelling of God. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, at this point in time, we will witness the first sacramental kiss of Carlo and Giselle. Carl, you may now kiss your wife. My dear brothers and sisters, may I now officially pronounce to you our newly married couple, Mr. and Mrs. John Carlo P. Cabatuan. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you. Today, I affirm my love for you and vow to share my life with you in everything. To respect and love you. You are the most generous person I've ever known. Kind, honest, and my limino. <laughs> I, I take you to be my husband, to have and to hold you in sickness and in health. From the from this day forward, you shall be my first in my heart, and our souls shall be together as one. I love you so much. Hello, hello. Life has made me realize that God has given me the freedom to choose. And as Ash throws his Pokeballs, to that I'll shout the same thing too. To the world, to everyone, I will let them hear that I choose you. Uh, so tomorrow when I wake up, I know I'm gonna be. And tomorrow when I come home, I know where I should be. So if tonight, if I will get drunk, I'll probably know where I'll be. And when finally I have her, I know I'm going to be. I'm going to be the man who's shivering to you. What? <laughs> what and I would walk 500 miles And I would walk 500 miles Just to be the man Who walks a thousand miles To fall down at your da 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 I love you 